So in this video, we take a look at how organizations might proceed when they want to implement circular business models. So in this slide, we have three companies and three different strategies. First, Xerox has a retained product ownership approach. So they offer leasing or rental of the product instead of selling them. So um, they, as a producer, stay responsive for the product at the end of the customer's use. So they are in charge when it comes to after sales uh, options and for uh, maintenance capabilities. Second, we have Bosch and Bosch has a product life extension, so a PLE and Bosch um, designs its products to last longer. So the durability is here a key lever when it comes to putting the brakes for circular economy. And it also opens secondary markets for used products since they still work as they are very durable. Third, we have Adidas and Adidas has a design for recycling approach. So it redesigns products and it uses reworked plastic waste in order um, to manufacture shoes and clothes. So three companies and three valuable approaches. When choosing a strategy or when moving towards a circular business model, an organization uh, might ask itself two central questions. So first, how easy is it to get my product back? So that's the first question. The second one is, how easy is it to recover value from my product? And depending on the answers on those two questions, a company might choose a different circular business model approach. So um, we here have the circularity matrix, uh, which basically captures those two questions. So at the x-axis, we have the process of getting the product back. So this axis is related with the first question. Second, we have the y-axis and the access to recovering value of the product. So this axis is um, related to the second question. And then we have those different fields. So we have the retain product ownership approach. We have the design for recycling approach, which uh, we can find here twice. And we have the product life extension. So those three approaches were highlighted at the first slide where we had the three different companies applying those approaches. And the thing is the greater the value locked into a product, the greater the potential for creating a circular business model around it. So the circularity matrix helps um, organizations to identify the strategy which might be best suited um, to the company's resources and circumstances and to the capabilities and competitive environment. Because most importantly, there are also external factors such as regulations or secondary markets which um, have an impact uh, when it comes to deciding on the circular business model and the associated strategy to implement it.